road to the White House starts in Iowa. For former Vice President Mike Pence, the early stretch of his race has been a jog through a two-mile July 4th parade in Urbandale. Chip. Eating the local sweets in rural northwest Iowa. It's a serious issue, one that we need yeah. to deal with. Yeah. Hearing the personal politics of local Republicans. It's, it's like wonderful. It. It's the only way you have a chance to really know how they feel and answer questions at your level of the community. Awesome. A 10 county sweep for candidate Pence just this week as he aims to hit all 99 counties in Iowa. What is it that you hope to achieve by visiting all these counties, by doing all of these parades? You know, I came to a conclusion over the last few years that I'm, I'm well known, but we're not known well. We're going to be able to uh, take our story, take our case, and take our whole record, the story of our family, to the people of Iowa, and to great success. The Midwest native plans to deliver it over prayer and pizza. Pence's preferred spot for a slice the Pizza Ranch, a chain with 71 locations across Iowa. If you want to win the Iowa caucus, it's a it's a 50 person pizza ranch meeting um, because everybody that came here tonight, I guarantee the one thing they have in common, they're all going to caucus. Pence National Campaign Chair Chip Saltzman hatched the so-called Pizza Ranch strategy in 2008 as campaign manager for then Republican presidential hopeful Mike Huckabee. Thank you who would come from much, behind Tom. and Thank win you. the 2008 Iowa well, caucuses. We'll you, this room believes Pence's campaign is how he, too, could win here. You're looking for people that are willing to come out on a cold night, uh, spend an hour and a half listening to everybody else talk, and then vote for your person. And the way you build those relationships are in meetings of 50, not rallies of 5,000. In this Pizza Ranch meeting of 50 Iowans, some wearing their allegiance to a different Republican candidate, Pence takes any and all questions from voters, including one who confronted him about his role in certifying the 2020 election results on January 6th. He won that election. In changing history for this country. And I want to tell you, with all due respect, I said before, I said when I announced President Trump was wrong, about my authority that day, and he's still wrong. I believe it with all my heart. That answer only slightly moved Luann Bertrand, who asked the question. I really do feel like he altered history. Would you consider supporting Mr. Pence after listening to him today? I would consider it, but he has that one hiccup. But meeting Pence did change Amy Klein's mind. Well, I voted for Mr. Trump. <clears throat> but I've been going to all of the people that come that want to run for president, and so far I like him the best. So your opinion has changed after seeing yeah. him up close. Yeah.